So let's look at some uh, real world security problems uh, that arise when vulnerabilities are not managed properly. So as far as we've come with patching, I still see a lot of gaps. You know, I often find that people are unaware of uh, specific hosts on their network or they're supposedly being managed by somebody else or there's not a, pa a patch management system in place or the people are afraid to patch the systems because they're too critical and they can't afford for them to uh, go down. What happens then? Well, of course, you've got someone curious on the network uh, that comes along and uh, takes advantage of the situation. Maybe it's a malicious insider, maybe it's a curious contractor that's connecting to your network, or it's somebody uh, down the street who's connected to, into your wireless environment. This screenshot here is an example of what can happen on any given system in just a matter of a couple of minutes when someone uses the uh, free tool called Metasploit to uh, exploit a uh, missing patch on, on a Windows system in, in this context. Um, so w what are we seeing here? Well, basically, this is full remote command prompt access. Uh, the, the, the person downloads Metasploit for free or any other hacking tool. There's some commercial tools. There, there's some other ways to do this. But I often use Metasploit because it's a great uh, security testing tool, but it can be used in bad ways. So they download, they download uh, Metasploit. They, uh, they run it. They exploit the vulnerability on the remote system, and all of a sudden they own that system. They can create backdoors, they can delete files, they can do whatever they want to do on that, on that system. And the thing is, no one is ever going to know that it happened. You know, there, there's simply just too much to keep up with. You don't have proactive logging and monitoring and things like that. So um, all of this happens because the network administrator didn't apply a patch or the patching process uh, had, a, had a weak spot in it. So, over the past year alone, and literally just 85% of the security assessments that I've done, uh, I've been able to exploit missing patches like this using Metasploit in a matter of a, just a couple of minutes. And so I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that to say that, well, yeah, Kevin's the super uh, ethical hacker guy. I'm saying it because it's so easy and the problem is so pervasive, and you've got to know that, that these issues likely exist on your network. Okay. Now, going beyond patches and actually hardening your system configurations uh, uh, based on best practices and whatnot is another weakness that I'm uh, seeing quite often. You know, some people think that they can just download Microsoft's baseline security analyzer and check for the latest patches, make sure that there's no weak passwords or uh, blank passwords on the system, and everything's going to be fine. Well, that's not the case. Tools like uh, MBSA. Uh, they, 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 they're good, they have their place, but they don't look deep enough to, to, to really highlight a lot of the issues that can be exploited. I see things like uh, readable SNMP information that can be used to uh, further penetrate a system, um, unprotected admin shares on Windows boxes that, that allow um, remote users to connect into the system, uh, NetBIOS null sessions that permit uh, anyone on the network to glean the, the user list off that particular host. Uh, guest access to Windows log files. Unused accounts. I even see, and this is more of a, an abstract example, but I even see uh, systems that have both wireless and networks enabled at the same time and thus effectively creating a bridge from the outside world into the internal network. These examples are only a small part of the story. You know, there's tons and tons of stuff out there. Uh, you know, and, and a lot of this stuff is just due to lack of good vulnerability management. You know, I hear people say, well, I don't have the time, or I don't have the tools, or I'm not motivated because management's not supporting me, or whatever. And the, the thing is, that th these are classic cases of network administrators crying out for help. So let me share with you some of the ways that endpoint security technologies can actually uh, benefit your vulnerability management efforts. First of all, I, I've learned this the hard way. Your success with any uh, security area, and especially with vulnerability management, it's directly proportional to the quality of the tools that you use. The tools that you use can be uh, an enabler or they can be a hindrance. And quite often, I see tools that are a hindrance. They get in the way. They're too hard to use. They don't find enough good stuff. And they end up creating this false sense of security. Um, and also manual testing, you know, looking for vulnerabilities day in and day out or month after month or maybe twice a year, whatever, however you do it, 
It could be too time, uh, time consuming, uh, too difficult, and it's just not going to be deep enough. It's not going to find enough problems. And even just finding tools that work can be time consuming, difficult, and it can be expensive. I've learned that one the hard way. Um, vulnerability management technologies can, can basically help you be proactive. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, keeping up with all the latest patches that Microsoft and all these third-party vendors are putting out. You just simply enable the technology and it manages the, the inflow of the patches and the, the coordination and management of the vulnerabilities for you. You can reduce uh, IT overhead, obviously. Uh, less manual patching, less going back and having to fix problems uh, down the road. Uh, even uh, scanning for vulnerabilities um, can, can help out with that. And, and just knowing what's where, knowing what's in your environment, that's a big issue that a lot of people still don't have a good handle on. And uh, even rebuilding Windows systems, you know, it, 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 it can eliminate the need uh, to have to do that so often. I know we all have to rebuild our, our systems. It seems like uh, once or twice a year, I, I just got finished rebuilding mine and I'm going to have to do it again. And it's, it's, it's really frustrating. And I know in an enterprise environment, that costs a lot of money. It takes up a lot of time. And I've, I've actually seen some stats where, where uh, uh, enterprise organizations actually lose up to about 30 uh, uh, days worth of work when a system has to be rebuilt. So uh, not, not good for business.